Hey everybody, this is Phil Sanko, the totally gnarly online marketer from philsanko.com, and today I want to talk about Google Keywords. So, um, w this is going to be a very basic training, so uh, if you're out there and you're, you're one of those people who's just starting to get into content marketing, and uh, you know, that could be uh, you know, article marketing, writing blogs, or uh, even shooting videos for YouTube or Vimeo or something like that, um, you really want to have the correct keywords on your subject. So let, let's talk about that really quick. Why do you want to have um, keywords and why is keyword research important? Well, the, the reason that we're writing um, you know, these articles these uh, or making these YouTube videos is because we want our information, we want our content to be found. And I see a lot of people out there who are they're writing great articles, you know, or they're making great YouTube videos, but they're not properly using keywords. In fact, some people aren't even using keywords at all, and so their content is just not being found. Um, and when your content is found, people find you, um, it brands you, uh, and ultimately you're gonna you're gonna be growing your email list. You're gonna be growing your your business, and it really means dollars in your pocket. So, what I'm going to do is, is kind of give you a beginner's view of uh, of how to do keyword research, and this is kind of just just the way I do it. And again, this is an advanced. Um, you know, if you're an advanced marketer, uh, I'm sure you're gonna look at this and. Uh, um, you know, you're gonna have, you're gonna be going after higher ranking words. I am talking to people who have never done keyword research before, and you're looking to rank high on Google for something. <laughs> you know, you're trying to be found. Um, and so le let's dive in. So what I want you to do is go to Google, and all you're gonna do is type in keywords. Okay, and the first thing that's gonna come up right here it, it says keyword tool Google AdWords okay click on that and it's gonna bring you to this screen here now if you don't have an account you're gonna ha probably have to create a Google account um, for me I'm just going to sign into my account so it's going to bring you to this screen first. Now what I want you to do first is right here I want you to click on keyword ideas and then there's this little box here so uh, I want you to press this little button and minimize it because this is going to show you some options over here under match types and it says broad exact and phrase. So I want you to click on um, or make sure that there are check marks uh, by broad and exact. So, um, uh, and I'm going to get into that in, in a second exactly what that means, okay? So, um, those of you that know me, you know that I'm in network marketing, and uh, most of the people that follow me, they're, they're learning network marketing as well. So, let's just throw it out there and let's just type in network marketing as the keyword up here under uh, word or phrase and we're gonna click search so you'll notice if you go down here um, it's gonna show a few different things it's gonna it's gonna show the keyword right here that you searched for it's gonna show you the competition as in there's a lot of competition if it says high medium competition or low competition and it's gonna show you the number of global searches and local searches per month so whenever you look up a broad category such as network marketing or you could put in sports or you know anything that's just a very broad subject you are going to get a lot of competition you're gonna get a lot of month you know a lot of global searches so it's gonna it's gonna have a lot of traffic but often if you're if you're trying to rank for a very broad keyword it is going to have a lot of competition and it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult to 
to have your keyword rank on the first page or even the first 10 pages of Google. So what I want you to do when, when you're thinking about your keywords is I want you to narrow down your subject. So if you're writing an article about network marketing, what are, you know, dive a little deeper. What, what part of network marketing um, are you writing an article about? For example, I recently uh, did a video on uh, Facebook marketing um, f uh, it, that involved network marketing. So let's just type Facebook at the top after network marketing and let's narrow this down. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, the number of global monthly searches went down. And like before, I wanted to show you the difference between the broad category and the exact category. As you can see, this top one um, that's not in brackets, that is the broad category. The one that is in brackets, that is exact. So what does that mean? Um, the broad category basically means that that phrase or those words in general that are used together, um, those are found, you know, there, there's 880 searches using those broad general words, okay? Um, and that's monthly. If you look at exact, that those are people that are literally typing in network marketing Facebook and as you can see there's only 36 monthly global searches per month and that is not very high so what what you're looking for um, when you're uh, especially if you're a beginner at keyword research here's what I would suggest and this is how I started out and it it helped me um, it helped me rank fast um, for s certain keywords. So here's what I like to see when I'm looking um, at certain things in keywords. Um, if I'm new, I'm looking for a low competition word, low to medium, and I'm looking for at least a thousand global monthly searches, okay? So this is going to give you a lot of, you know, related um, keywords uh, to the subject that you typed in and it's gonna tell you whether you know whether it's a you know high competition how many and how many people are searching for it and if you look here um, right here it it says there there's 800 you know up to 800 different um, examples or competition keywords so if you click this arrow here you can um, actually go review more here okay so let's 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 look at one here and I'm just randomly pulling this or randomly looking at this so let's look at this one that says Facebook branding okay again there's the broad category here and the exact category here that means that people are searching on an average globally um, per month 480 people are searching um, and as far as a, more of a broad category with those words being used in different phrases um, uh, 3600 people so here here's what I like to do that that's something if you're new that's those are some of the keywords I would actually go after because you're gonna be able to rank a little uh, just a lot more easily uh, than if you're going after some of these higher competition words. Now look at this. Network marketing leads is the next one and there's a lot more global searches but again this is you know this is a business and there's competition so people that are looking for that you know there's gonna be a lot of competition there's a lot of people offering uh, services or help for network marketing leads so here's what I like to do I already told you that um, if you're starting off you want to go after some of the low to medium uh, competition words look look for ones that have um, uh, at least a thousand searches per month I generally like to see the exact um, uh, this category with the brackets I like to see that over a thousand um, but um, let's just use this key
keyword Facebook branding as an example. So if you click on this keyword right here, it's going to um, have a drop down menu with some options. Click on Google search and all that's going to do is bring up a Google search. Now what I like to look at here, right below here, it shows how many results are showing for that. Okay, so it says 113 million results results for information on Facebook branding. So here's a little trick and this is something that'll help you out. Put quotes on the front and end of that. So this shows exactly how or you know how many pages actually have this uh, it, you know, in their title, exactly, Facebook branding, you can see uh, Facebook branding, Facebook branding, um, and this is going to give you a, kind of a, a better idea of how many results are out there. So look at this, 30,200 results. Now, here is my rule of thumb that I generally go off of, again, this is for people just that are just new to keyword research, I like to, after you put the uh, keyword in quotes, I like to see this number um, uh, under 100,000 results. Um, doesn't have to be, you know, as low as this, which is 30,200 results. But I like to see it, you know, around 100, 100,000 or lower. Um, so if you do that, and you have also picked a low to medium competition keyword that has over a thousand views per month the chances of you ranking your article faster and people finding your information faster um, it, it's just it just goes up and again if you're new you want your name you want your information to be found as easily as possible okay so that's my general rule of thumb if you're starting off with keyword research okay narrow down the subject of what you're gonna talk about um, and then pick a low to medium keyword uh, competition range and make sure that it's actually getting searched for because I mean if you look at some of these other other things you know you don't want something that's only getting like 46 searches a month you're not gonna be found Okay, so when you're writing your article, okay, um, or you're you're writing your YouTube video and you're 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 making your titles for um, your content, you want to use the your chosen keyword. So if you've chosen Facebook branding, you want to include that in your title. Um, but another thing to think about, Google um, Google's getting smarter and they like they don't like people using just the exact keyword and I mean that in the sense of um, don't just title your article Facebook branding. Um, use it in a sentence. Say um, how I use Facebook branding for my business. How to expand business with Facebook branding. Um, Google likes to see that you're, you know, you're being creative. You're putting it in a sentence, and you're just not putting your just your keyword um, as the title. So ju that's just my suggestion. So. Um, that's really all I have for you right now. That's how I went about doing keyword research when I first started doing uh, con or creating content. So um, um, that, that's all I have, guys. Use that to start off. And as as you start making more and more content, and your you know your blog or your your YouTube videos are starting to show up on Google. That's when I'm. I would start going after the more high competition words, and, and again, that gets into more advanced SEO strategies. Okay, so um, I hope you guys found this useful. I would absolutely love and appreciate you guys if you uh, like this, shared this video. I'm um, just trying to help out and get this information to the people that that are starting to get into content marketing. Okay, um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this informational video on Google keywords. Take care, everybody. Phil Sanko out.